relationship advice update my 25 female husband 26 male broke our dog's leg i'm worried for the child i'm currently carrying original post so i'm a big pet lover we have several dogs reptiles frogs and small animals i work in the pet care industry and have recently lost my job due to the shutdown that being the case i've been home a lot more often and i notice the animals aren't attached to him like me i thought nothing of it as i care for them mainly and had most of them before we got together our pets have their own room and yesterday i went to let out dogs out and our five pounds chihuahua mix was limping and putting no weight on his leg my husband jokingly said a few minutes before i checked on him i got rufus to stop scratching the door i thought nothing of it until my poor dog was unable to move I took him to the vet and they did x-rays, and let me know Rufus's hip was broken. They said being so small, it could be because he jumped off the furniture and hurt himself, as he's rather old as well. My husband later admitted that he lost his temper, picked Rufus up by the scruff, and beat him. He feels incredibly guilty, and wants nothing to do with any of the pets now. I found out yesterday I'm pregnant, and I'm worried he may lose his temper with a newborn much worse than Rufus's constant scratching. What do I do? I love this man and we've been married half a decade now. Now for the top advice before reading the update. Troubling that he would beat a small animal and then make a joke about it. Have you talked to him about your worries over his temper? I have not yet. He's never shown any sort of anger or violence in the entire time I've known him unless provoked, so this is all very shocking. He's been in one fist fight in high school where another lad was making horribly racist comments and he snapped. But other than that. He is typically the sweetest guy around. Normally he is very kind, even spoils the dogs when I'm around. But now, I am worried about how they are treated when I'm not here. Normal people don't hurt animals. I'll say that again. Normal people don't hurt animals, especially their senior dogs. He broke your dog's hip then made a joke about it. There is something deeply wrong inside of his mind for that to have happened. Agreed. If he loses his temper at a senior dog, Imagine what he'll do to child if it cries too loud or makes a mess. You kind of have your answer already, do you want to hear him one day say, I got the baby to stop crying? There was a post on here a while back, where a woman found out that her husband was getting the baby to stop crying by flicking the baby's feet until baby went into stress mode and stopped crying. The guy didn't see any problem with what he was doing either. And now for the update. Hello all. For starters, Thank you for the outpouring support and advice. I feel much less alone in this. Rufus is doing well and recovering at a friend house with her husband, along with my other dogs and senior reptiles. I decided to rehome the rest of them for their own well-being. I also left some of my essentials and important possessions with her for when I left. Initially when I sat my husband down, it went smoothly. He agreed to seek anger management and therapy. But when I made it clear the dogs weren't coming back for a while, he got angry. He felt like he was being immature, and he was being treated like an abuser. Reminding him that what he was doing was mistreatment, seemed to hurt his pride, so he went to take a walk to cool off. Unfortunately for him he left his phone behind, and it started to go off constantly after about 10 minutes or so. Now I have never once felt the need to go through his phone, but last night I decided to. I have no idea why, and I kind of regret it. But I did, and I found some wild stuff I was not expecting. Turns out, he was linking up with his old high school flame, a crazy bugger we'll call Sarah. Sarah was crazy, I lend myself if you leave me daddy issues kind of crazy. She even stalked me for a bit early in our relationship, but it seemed like he wanted nothing to do with her. Turned out, a few months before quarantine, they were chummy again and were hooking up, exting, trading nudes. You know, the whole package. I couldn't help but think. Maybe his sudden spike in aggression was stemming from the stubble life slash lacking action with his ex stress. When he returned, he knew something was up. And I let him know I knew. And he lost it. Crying, please don't leave me, I love you, I don't know why I did it, the whole works. I told him I was leaving, and he tried to stop me, but with some help from my friend and her husband I was able to leave without things getting physical. I still haven't told him I'm pregnant, but I'm roughly 8 weeks and still haven't decided what to do about that. He still doesn't know. Thankfully, I have no STDs even though he was sleeping with both of us at the same time, unknowingly. I'm heartbroken, and feeling for divorce and most likely going to avoid bringing a kid into all of this mess. But Rufus is being his always supportive self, so I'm going to press on and hope for the best.
Now for some top comments. He got mad and had to cool off after you told him you were keeping the pets safe from him? Have you realized yet that your little dog saved your life? And I do mean that. Rufus is the real MVP. Maybe he got upset because she removed living things to purposefully mistreat? It sucks that he broke Rufus' leg, but what a way to uncover infidelity and that your husband is an A. I hope you are doing well with your animals. You are doing a superb job of taking care of yourself and your pets. I know this might sound like horrible advice, but do you really want to have a child that will be attached to that guy forever? To have him in your life every single day? To share the kid with him on special occasions? I mean of course you could also not tell him if you keep it. But I think you deserve a clean break. Unless you of course want the child too, then I'd say maybe only tell him if he got the help he needed? He sounds like a horrible person. He's so young and already wasting his life. OP says she's undecided, but likely won't continue the pregnancy in the last two paragraphs. I'm extremely glad you and the dog are okay now. I know this is a horrible situation to be in, but at least you have a good head so you did the right thing. You are now out of harm's way. No matter how much he cries and pleads, please continue to heal, file for divorce and live a life you deserve. Now for the next story. Update. I, 27 female, just lost my dog I had for 10 years and I'm devastated. Boyfriend, 25 male, thinks I'm being ridiculous. Original post. Title explains the story. I've had Alfie for a decent chunk of my life and I really love. Well I guess it's now loved, him. He was my only friend through some really difficult times, and I can't express the grief I feel over losing him. It was sudden, two weeks ago the postman left the gate open and when I opened my door Alf ran straight out and into a car. I saw it hit him and it was painful to watch. My boyfriend is constantly telling me it's just a dog, why are you being silly, get over it etc. I've been so upset I was signed off work for a week to cope. I'm not sure if it's a cultural thing as he is Albanian and I'm English, but he had a dog he loved at one point. He even got mad at me for not wanting intimacy cause I was sad. I don't know, is it that he doesn't care, or that he can't relate to a problem? Now for the top advice before reading the update. Hi I'm Albanian, no we don't act like this when dogs die, we get sad too. It's not a cultural thing, your boyfriend is just an a-hole. Finally, an Albanian point of view, thanks. He even got mad at me for not wanting intimacy cause I was sad. That's a dumpin'. Whatever his cultural values are, is irrelevant. What matters is that you are clearly sad and he won't respect it, or even try to understand it, because he's an insensitive a-hole. I had an ex react the same way. It was a sure sign I should have dumped him, and that he would never be as emotionally in touch as I would need him to be. I was a fool and stayed with him longer, and his lack of caring was always an issue. Just FYI. We just spoke on the phone for 15 minutes and he said, verbatim, I'd never marry you anyway. I said cool, hung up and blocked. It's over guys. Got to start again at 27, but I'd rather die alone than be with someone who thinks like that. 27 is very young, I'm sure you'll meet many a dude far better than he could ever be. But seriously, good on you. His laughable reaction was just his poor little ego being hurt. Update. First of all, I'd like to thank every single person who commented and gave their condolences for ALF. I read every single one and I would have loved to reply individually, but there were so many I wouldn't be able to. But you have my sincere thanks for your kind words and they have helped me through a tough time. So on to the update, boyfriend realized he messed up the next day. I blocked his number, but on my phone, you can see when block numbers try to call you, it just auto rejects. Since that night, he's called me around 15 times a day, from 9am to midnight. He probably sent texts, but they don't show up. I forgot to block him on Instagram, so I got a few messages on there before I blocked, but basically they said, come on, talk to me, answer your phone, and don't ignore me. No apologies, no empathy, just me me me. In hindsight, he'd been doing this a lot. I read through a lot of past communication and I saw it with new eyes. He was constantly disregarding my feelings and taking about how bad his life is, and how I should feel sorry for him and how he's being good to me regardless. He's a nasty, selfish person, and I was so used to his behavior I'd normalized it, and was worried I was being insensitive to his feelings after I watched my best friend die. Without your comments and opinions, I probably would have stayed with him for as long as he decided, maybe even had a baby with him, 
which he'd probably do to claim family life, so he doesn't get deported, and waste more time with him. I want to say thanks to everyone who opened my eyes. And thanks to Alfie for showing me the truth as his final act as a good boy. Edit, just to clear something up, as some people have been frothing at the mouth because they think I quit my job, I didn't. I actually went into work and my manager could see there was something wrong with me, and after I told her she told me to take the rest of the day off. I'd accrued a lot of time off in lieu, and she said I could use it for the rest of the week as my diary was pretty free that week and she could tell I needed it. My job is emotionally taxing, I work with looked after children, particularly victims of CSE, so it was best for everyone if I used my time off in lieu, while I was feeling so bad. Thanks for all the support everyone. I won't be posting on this account again but hope everyone gives their pup an extra hug tonight. Now for the closing comments. And thanks to Alfie for showing me the truth as his final act as a good boy. Someone's cutting onions here. Be gentle to yourself while you heal from all this. I wish you the best of luck. I did not sign up for the feels train this morning. Read your original post top, and good for you for leaving his selfish butt. I'm sorry to hear about Alf. Losing a dog can be really difficult. I read it too, and couldn't imagine how he couldn't even pretend to care. Seeing that happen would be traumatic for a stranger, most anyways, let alone someone who loved him dearly. Losing him was hard enough, and to witness that and to lose him so suddenly, I feel for OP thankfully it helped her realize she deserves to be treated well, and that final gift Alfie gave is so precious. I'm glad you move on. I was one of the people who commented early on, and at that point, most people were defending your ex, saying that you shouldn't worry about it and respect his culture. It just shows you how many people on this sub shouldn't be giving advice. Thank goodness you didn't listen to them. If people are from different cultures, this stuff still isn't okay. Getting mad at someone for not wanting intimacy. Totally disregarding someone else's feelings, especially a significant other. Those are two huge red flags, and people who are guilty of those pointers should not be in a relationship. OP. He didn't love you. He loved having someone he could have intercourse with. You deserve to find someone who actually loves you and cares about your feelings. Your ex is scum. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.